Now, these chooks are so cute, Irene. Did you make them too? Yeah, they're quite easy to make, actually. Really? Yeah. Do you think you could show me how? Oh, I'd love to. OK. You'll need a plastic bag. A freezer bag is best. Cement and sand, air-dried clay, a screwdriver for carving, waterproof paint and two-part glue. So, Irene, what's involved? Well, for a start, we measure four parts sand, one part cement. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add some water. You put a little bit at a time in and then we give it a stir. OK, Sophie, you mm -hmm. stir. OK. And I shall pour water. Now, who would think you could make a chook like that? <laughs> <laughs> now, here comes the fun bit. Are you ready? I am. Right. We need a plastic bag okay. and we're going to spoon it in. Now, we poke it into the corners and just give it a little pat every now and then so that we don't get air pockets in it. Right. Yep. We need to set this for 24 hours. And how do you set it? We sit it on a rock or a bowl or something to get a bit of shape. OK, well, I'll put that one out of the way. Yeah. Because you've got one you prepared earlier. Yes, I have. What we've just done is this, 24 hours later. Really? It's that hard already? Yeah, that hard. OK. Yeah. So what are you doing now? We're unveiling now. <laughs> That's what we're doing. The chook. The unveiling. Look wow. at that. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Look, we've got, got a that. solid chook. Fabulous. So what's the next step the then? The next stage is to carve feathers on. So what I'm going to do carefully is cut into that. Yeah. So you're just literally carving out? I'm carving it out, yes. And it's not that hard that you can't do no, it? No, it's not that hard. Oh, OK. You no, know, now what we're going to do is separate it here mm -hmm. for some wings. So all this is sort of in your imagination. And kids love doing this sort of thing. Now, Sophie, I've got some waterproof paint here, yep. pale grey, and I've actually watered it down because what we're going to do is paint it and then rub it off with a sponge. OK. Well, can I go on with that and you start sponging? Yes. Or? That's a good idea. See, when you wipe oh it off, this is and what happens. And we're putting it on everywhere? Yeah, yes. all over. Oh, it's looking gorgeous. See how we get a bit of colour, but yep. not too much, so we don't really spoil the the naturalness of it then. Yeah. OK. Now, Sophie, these are wattles and combs that mm -hmm. I've made earlier. And these are made from air-dried clay, which you can get anywhere. Any craft shops have it. We've got a beak. Oh, how gorgeous. A pair of wattles, wattles and a comb. And you just glue them on. Gorgeous. And that'll just sit nicely there. OK. And then we put the wattles on. I'm going to let you position them, because... To be oh, honest, well. even though I've got chooks, I've not paid that much attention. <laughs> if you yeah, just hold, hold that. that OK. Now, okay. well, you need a beak. Beautiful. Now we have to hold that there for a little <laughs> while. <laughs> OK, and so what would you do for the eyes? What would the oh, last I've, step I've be? just made some little eyes. And they're also made out of air-dried clay. OK. And I just painted them a little bit. There you go. They say never work with animals. But they're OK if they're cement. I can imagine <laughs> kids all over Australia, big and small, having a go at this. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> now all she needs is a nest.